What is going on my Super Saiyan, it's Ramsar here and today I will make a video in regards to ultimate attacks because there's been a lot of patches released since the last time I made a video about my favorite ultimate attacks and a lot of them are pretty useless moves now. So what I'm going to show you first is uh, everyone's fair move, which shouldn't be your fair move anymore, and that is Super Electric Strike, which hurts my heart, has been super patched. Uh, when I mean by super patched, I mean it, you pretty much will miss 99.9% .9 of the time. The only time you possibly pull it off is if you fire it and your opponent runs away, which at this point, everybody kind of knows you just slightly dash forward. So let me go ahead and show you that first by training with Whis. Come here, Whis. Let me get some key. Oh, okay, cool. That's, that's fine, too. Just, just, just tap me. Just flick me, bruh. All right, so as soon as I get some key, I'm going to show you how useless Super Electric Strike is. And watch, actually, now, because I'm fighting a computer, the opponent is actually going to work. Come here, Whis. Stop being so difficult. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it. So here we go. Problem with Super Electric Strike is it fires a like too far ahead of you now and always misses. So essentially, if someone fires Super Electric Strike, all it's gonna do is is just basically miss uh, unless they try to run away, which I don't see why anybody wanna run away from all Super Electric Strike anymore. And even if they run away, there's still a good chance that, you know, <laughs> the attack is still gonna miss. It's been super nerfed. Now the next one I wanna show off is Super Vanishing Ball. And the problem with this move is just like previously, it's too easy to dodge. Now obviously Whis is a computer character and he's not smart enough to run away, but the second you start charging it, any player simply just has to do this. Just that, that's it. And then it's gonna miss pretty much 100% of the time. And um, I was gonna show off uh, Death Ball, but I still don't have Death Ball unlocked because I have been very unlucky trying to get that move. Uh, Death Ball doesn't curve anymore. It doesn't have like any of that homing effect anymore. So essentially, if you see a Death Ball, you can literally do what I'm doing right now and always dodge it. It's, it's pretty much that useless now. So Death Ball is definitely a useless attack again. But fear not, because I have a list of moves that I'm going to show off uh, that you can replace if you use stuff like Death Bar and Super Electric Strike. So the first one we're going to go into is Vacation Delete and Ice Cannon. Now, I will note that both Vacation Delete and Ice Cannon are advanced moves. And when I say advanced moves, I mean uh, they're very easy to miss. Very easy to miss. But if for some reason, let's say you're doing a 2v2 match, 3v3, they're great in those matches because simply uh, you let your teammate kind of fight somebody while you blast them with the ice cannon. Uh, and it's going to do some crazy damage. Not Well, not really just crazy damage. It's more damaging because it freezes your opponent for a really long time. So if you want to link it with something like body change, you could do that. So let me show you uh, ice cannon if I can pull it off. Now again, the problem with ice cannon is it's it's really easy to dodge. So let's see if Wiss is smart enough to run away from it. Oh, he is. So see what I was saying? It's super easy to dodge. Let me actually try to pull it off again. Come here. Ice Cannon is from DLC Pack 2. It is uh, Ice Shenron's move. Let's try this again. Here we go. Whis, take this. Be frozen. What? Oh, he blocked it. Okay, so you can be blocked too, uh, apparently. I didn't know you can block that. So today I learned. But here we go. That's, oh, crap. I'm going to miss, aren't I? I missed again. I'm failing. See, that's what I was saying. It's a very advanced move. If you can link it with something, uh, try it then, but if you do a 1v1, it's going to be a really hard move to pull off. But again, if you can pull it off, hopefully I can pull it off in this video, then it's going to be very beneficial to the point where you can do something else. So we're going to go ahead and do hit him on Ice Cannon. Here we go. Stand there! You see, he's frozen. Uh, if I had key, I would have uh, done a uh, Drain Charge. Usually, I link it with Drain Charge or like Stamina Charge or something like Or um, Drain Charge and Stamina Drain, stuff like that. But yeah, it freezes your opponent long enough to uh, for you to do some kind of action. So... Um, it's cool for that. Now, same with a uh, vacation delete. Except for vacation delete, I probably recommend you use more because it's more powerful. Uh, ice cannon isn't that powerful. It just it's cool because it frees your opponent for a long time. Vacation delete. What it does is it's it's basically uh, a key blast that does a lot of damage and it stuns them. See how he's stunned? He was stunned for a long time too, right there. So again, both of these moves are very easy to dodge. But if you can pull them off uh, perfectly, preferably in like a two v two, three v three setting where you know you're, someone your teammate is fighting somebody and you kind of help them then you are going to have a lot of fun in that match. So there you have it. So again, uh, to get uh, Ice Cannon, it's DLC Pack 2. Vacation Delete is one of the earlier parallel quests in the Saiyan Saga, I believe. I think Vacation Delete is a Raditz move in the first place, so you should get it very early, and it's pretty easy to get if you try to farm it. But yeah, those two moves are great for, you know, doing the ultimate and then doing something else. So, but now let's say you don't want to use those attacks, and you want to do something more damaging let's go ahead and go down my list and my next one we're going to go through is Symphonic destruction and victory rush which is actually my favorite setup right now now uh oh i meant to pick wisp but whatever uh Symphonic destruction luckily hasn't been nerfed yet but i feel like it's going to get nerfed in the future just like before Symphonic destruction is awesome with, with stuff like instant transmission or 2v2 3v3 fights where you can just clear out a whole map like it is a really powerful move to use and if there's one move that you want to probably have always equipped i right now suggest you do Symphonic destruction because look it, it does a lot of damage and it traps your opponent and on top of that like it's it's great for like sweeping the area in front of you so definitely use that move 
Now, the next one is not really a uh, new move, Victory Rush. Um, it's mainly great in 1v1 settings, because, uh, I mean, it attacks one person. And especially if you have a freezer race, since I mean, for, for stars, with freezer race, the, the key blast supers are kind of weak, so you want to use uh, some kind of strike, uh, strike ultimate. So with uh, Beerus, we're going to freeze him and jump into Victory Rush. Look at that. Oh, wow, you tried to uh, headshot me. Nice. But it's great because it locks on. It does a lot of damage. And on top of that, if you uh, block one move, it'll still keep the combo going. The only way to stop Victory Rush is either, one, fly away until you, like, like your life depends on it, or two, try to parry the first initial move. Because if you parry the first move, then you're pretty much screwed for uh, the entire special until you get enough key to do it again. But let's go ahead and pull up one more time. See if we can, you know, do it while he's like flying around. Like it's a pretty good move, like to almost always pull off. Like look at that. Yeah, well I actually ended up killing him. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Beerus. Don't blow me up for that. So there you have it. Some fine destruction and victory rush are definitely moves that you want to keep equipped. Whether you want to keep them both equipped or one, and then rely on something else for something else. Uh, you make the decision. But for me, those are like my two fair moves right now. Now I have one more on the list. I believe. Do I have one more on the list? Stefan? No, I actually it's all of them. The next one I was going to actually show off is Pan, which I don't have unlocked yet. I'm currently training with her to unlock it. Uh, now, this move, I don't have unlocked yet, but I've played it enough to understand that it has a lot of potential. And you're probably thinking, like, Pan? Rhyme Stop, why Pan? No one wants to play as Pan. Pan doesn't want to be Pan. Well, uh, she has a really cool ultimate move, and with DLC Pack 2, she is one of the mentors. So if you can train with her and uh, get Maiden Blast, you are going to be a very happy person. So we're gonna, let's go ahead and just build up our key real fast. And the reason why Maiden Blast is really cool is because it's instant. Now, I'm pretty sure this move is going to get patched sometime in the future because in my opinion, it's, it's a little overpowered. But here, it's actually, come on, come on, get up, get up, get up, come here. Come here, here we go. It's real overpowered. And the reason why is because if you're close to your opponent, so like, I'm about to get close. Come here, Whis. See how it stuns him? He is stunned right now, and then he gets thrown into the attack. Oh, wow, he actually dodged out of it. That's actually a pretty smart move. That's something Whis would do. Uh, come here, Whis. I'm gonna uh, get a little closer to you again so I can pull it off again. Uh, come here. Come here, Reese. Come here, Reese. Get some more key. I just, wait, do I have, uh, No, I don't. I was gonna say, I should have uh, just charged my key, but I don't have key charge equipped with Pan. Or I guess she doesn't have the move equipped. At least in this variation. Come here. Here we go. All right, so we got it again. Let's pull it out one last time so I can show you the awesomeness. See, it's cool because it's stunned. See that? He is slightly getting stunned. And then you can pull up the ultimate. And it does a decent amount of damage as well. And the other cool thing is, is, let me see if I can pull it off, hopefully, without um, killing him by accident. The cool thing about uh, Maiden Blast is it sends your opponent flying to the point where you can uh, actually counter, or not counter, but keep the combo going. So let's actually, wow, that did a lot of damage. Let's see if I can pull it off again. He gets close to me. Uh, and freeze. Get blasted. Blown away. And I'm going to charge after him, like that. Oh, no. I screwed up. Well, if you do it right, you can actually keep the combo going and still beat beat him while he's flying around. So that's the other cool thing is, is it's great for combining with more melee moves and possibly more super moves. So that's why I recommend you train with Pan if you have DLC Pack 2 and attempt to use Maiden Blast, which I hope is her ultimate that she teaches you in the end. I mean, honestly, what else she would teach you? But uh, yeah, so those are the ultimates that you want to play with. So there you have it, folks. Quick updated video of uh, moves to use now that stuff like Super Electric Strike has been officially killed off, it, pretty much. So... There you have it. Now, of course, when they release another pass sometime in the future, killing off more ultimate moves or nerfing them or whatever, I'll let you guys know what's the next best thing to use. But in my opinion, this is the best ones to use. So there you have it. So with that said, before I end the video, I do want to ask one question, and that is what ultimates are you guys currently using? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, other than that, leave a like rating if you enjoyed today's video, uh, if you were having a blast still with Xenoverse, and any other questions, comments, or feedback, add to the comment section below. Other than that, my name is Rhymestar. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all your awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.